Hello, and in this video, we are going to help you set you up for success. We, we stress the importance of laying a good foundation uh, with your asset templates and prefills with InfoChip, and it's setting you up. Uh, well, this we're going we're gonna to cover some of those areas and how to do that a little bit more. If you've seen the work cycle video that we've started spreading around, uh, you can see Jim Stratinger and the add an asset using our custom asset templates do so in less than 30 seconds. Um, of course, you when you when you onboard with InfoChip and if you've worked with us on your prefills, that's filling out a spreadsheet on on everything that you're using, and it is um, us uploading that into your database and making your life easier and not having to key in all those attributes but there's so much more that can be done to automate this process to to make the presentation as good as it can be for yourself for your customer and as helpful as possible with attachments that can be added um, but let's not forget about the certain inspection intervals uh, being automatically defaulted to certain assets. You know, you want to automate as much as you can. That's less keystrokes. It's more efficient, as well as it's automating things and, and not leaving it up um, for human error. If you don't, for instance, key in that a certain item needs to be inspected every six months, then w as you create an asset, then what good is the scheduled report email that you've set up for your customer? It's it's no good. So take that out of the human hands and automate that where you can. As you can see, when Jim created this asset, it um, that was the attributes, the certain inspection intervals were set, attachments were brought on, uh, default auto operation forms were. Uh, operation forms were defaulted to this asset, excuse me, and uh, that the image for the asset was loaded all, all because uh, there was some work done early on. So I want to show you a, a couple of those items here and how to do that. Let's start with defaulting a certain inspection interval to an asset. We want to go in to modify default forms under admin maintenance. We want to pick an asset out. In this case, uh, excuse me, major power tools. We're going to pick this electric grinder. And here is where, let's say it needs to be certified. Every 12 months. And it needs to be inspected and we're, we're saying what kind of form. We're going to, we're going to just do. A um, we just do an inspection, but you have the ability to pick whatever form it is that you want that inspection to be done with. We're going to say every six months, and we're going to save that to the electric grinder. Now we want to add an image. We go under admin maintenance to add the image, to add attachments. Uh, if we want to make any modifications to this, to the prefills and the attributes, we go into categories. Electric utilities, major power tools, electric. I'm going to pick our electric grinder. We want to then modify attributes prefills for the electric grinder. We want to pick which type. We're picking our Eastwood 4 inch. 
Now you could edit any prefill values right here. You this, but this right down here at the bottom, is where we're going to add our asset image. Any diagrams, uh, attach any manuals, troubleshooting guides, warranty information, anything that can be helpful to you, your customer, or the man out in the field inspecting the equipment. Let's start with app uploading an image. But once we hit save, we can show off now any time that this particular type of asset is pulled up in the system. It will show up with this image. We'll just do an example. Pick our grinder. Select the Eastwood 4 inch. Put who it's owned by. Location, we'll pick the Chevron plant. I didn't do any attributes, so. But you can see this periodic inspection and cert intervals are set from our work. The image is also pulled up on this and you're good to go. And that's how it's done. Thank you very much.